Now, let's meet the players for the Elite Women's 3-on-3 presented by Adidas. First, from Team Canada, the head coach is Jada Hefford. At forward, number two, Megan Augusta. At forward, number six, Rebecca Johnston. On defense, number eight, Laura Fortino. On defense, number 14, Renata Fast. At forward, number 15, Melody Dau. At forward, number 20, Sarah Nurse. At forward, number 24, Natalie Spooner. At forward, number 29, Marie-Philippe Poulain. In goal, number 35, and Renee Debian. And at forward, number 40, Blair Turnbull. And now, for Team USA. The head coach is Cami Granato. On defense, number two, Lee Steckline. At forward, number 14, Brianna Decker. At forward, number 17, Jocelyn Lamoureux Davidson. At forward, number 21, Hillary Knight. On defense, number 22, Casey Bellamy. At forward, number 25, Alex Carpenter. At forward, number 26, Kendall Coy Schofield. At forward, number 27, Annie Pankowski. At forward, number 28, Amanda Kessel. And in goal, number 33, Alex Cavallini. An historic night in St. Louis at a gathering of hockey royalty. These two teams on the ice between them have 39 Olympic medals, 108 World Championship medals. They are the best hockey players in the world. And they're about to face off in a three-on-three -three challenge. Now, they don't play three-on-three -three very often. It's not like the NHL guys, Cassie, who've had a chance to work out what they want to do. And so maybe, just maybe, this will be wide open because they haven't figured out how to slow this down. Yeah, well, for the first time at the World Championships this next season in Halifax, they're going to actually have three-on-three -three in the gold medal game instead of a shootout. So that's how the gold medal game will be decided. And I know Hockey Canada is going to be using some NHL coaches to get their expertise on three on three to help the women's program. So we're underway with two 10 minute straight time periods. There's a steal by Melody Daou for Canada on the ice here with Laura Fortino and Marie Philippe Poulain who can't knock that puck out of the air and into the attacking zone is Kendall Coyne. After the puck, an interesting goaltending matchup here. It's the best goaltenders from the University of Wisconsin over the last 10 years. And Rene Debian for Canada, Alex Cavallini. For United States, changes a runaway. Here's Philippe Poulain, backhand shot, and that's cleaned up by Cavallini. There's actually seven players in this game from the University of Wisconsin, and the two goaltenders were teammates for one season in the senior year of Alex Rigsby. Here's a break for Rebecca Johnston from Subway, and she scores. And Canada takes the early lead, and they have to make quick changes because there won't be a stop in play here except to drop the puck. The clock won't stop. Well, Mary Philippe Poulin has the first early chance for Canada. You can see the skill puts it between her legs, just kind of fans on the backhand, doesn't get it high enough. And then Megan Augusta sends Rebecca Johnston in, and 
You can see a little tug on the arm, but she gets a really good shot off to put that one behind Cavallini. Megan Augusta, Rebecca Johnston, and one of the two defensemen in the lineup. Renata Fass, two up on the play, and so now she's got to get back defensively. Defensively, here's Jocelyn Lamoureux, who drops the puck off, and a nice save there for Debian, who wanted to keep the play alive, didn't want that whistle. You know, interesting, you look at Canada and Jaina Heffer's lineup as we watched the save by Debian and some good defensive zone coverage there for Canada, but they got Poulin and Dao who play together all the time. They put them with the defenseman. Nurse and Spooner were a good tandem for the Toronto Furies. And then you've got Augustin Johnston, who've known each other for a long time playing on the national women's team. There's Sarah Nurse, and Natalie Spooner, and Blair Turnbull. All three forwards were on the ice here. Just two defensemen, seven forwards, dressed for each team and a goaltender. Turnbull from Stellaton, Nova Scotia. Another one from the University of Wisconsin. One of two Nova Scotians to make the national women's team, Jill Saulnier. They grew up playing hockey together in Nova Scotia, and what a thrill it was for them to make Team Canada together. There's a big save by Dave yeah, off Jocelyn Lamoureux Davidson, who's here without her twin sister. And Amanda Kessel, you probably recognize that name. Well, Monique is actually here. She's working for NBC. And how about that? She scores the tying goal, and then Jocelyn gets the shootout winner at Three the Olympics. Great Philippe Poulain passed off instead of shooting there, and it's still a 1 nothing game in favor of Canada. And both teams are starting changes. Brianna Decker, what a move that was as she drives wide, passes into the slot. Lee Steckline in with a shot and a big save by Degan. Steckline, one of the two defensemen on the ice in the lineup for the United States. Decker goes after the puck towards the net. Kendall Coyne hovering around in front of the goal. Lee Philippe Poulin. With Laura Fortino, they can't get the puck out of their own zone. Melody Dau is the third Canadian on the ice. Here's Coyne buying some time, waiting for players to come off the bench. Maybe she'll do it herself here. Forced to the outside and passes the puck right between her two teammates. Casey Bellamy puts the puck into the corner and then backs off defensively. There's a long stretch pass. It slides by Megan Augusta. She's got a few days off from her job in Vancouver with the Vancouver Police Department. In comes Bellamy, the defenseman, to the front of the net. And misfiring there. A chance for the United States team. Casey Bellamy skates off and makes the change. Well, Canada's up by one, but the ice is a little tilted here this last two or three minutes in favor of the United States. They've been in Canada's end the majority of this last four or five minutes. This is Alex Carpenter. He's got an interesting history. Her father was a National Hockey League, Bobby, National Hockey League player, Bobby Carpenter. Sports Illustrated touted him the can't-miss kid when he came out of St. John's Prep. Jocelyn Lamoureux Davidson. The Americans used the strategy that the men have been using. There's a chance to pull away for Sarah Nurse, and there's that skating Ron was talking about that he watched earlier. Blair Turnbull was right there with Nurse. Couldn't quite finish it off for the second Canadian goal. Puck just jumped over Kendall Coyne's stick, and she's poke check trying to get the puck back from her knees. Sarah Nurse might get a chance to take off again. Fortino jumps up with her. Natalie Spooner checked at center ice. Boy, what a collision between Natalie Spooner and Kendall Coyne. Here's Steckline in, and she hit the post. Great move, and Lee Steckline hit the post. Here's Coyne with a shot, and Debian has been stellar. Probably the best Canadian player in the first part of this game. Marie Philippe Poulin again. Dao fanned on her shot. And Poulin takes over once more. Steckline checks her. And this is Brianna Decker to set it. Point Schofield with a saucer pack back that was tipped out of the air by Melody Dao. Centering pass. Crossed up Bellamy, the intended receiver. What a great move there. In comes Annie Pankowski. Stopped by Debian. What a great save. Back the other way. Three on two for Canada. Megan Augusta's centering pass. Renata Fast has to be just that to get back and get this puck. Chased by Pankowski, the former captain at the University of Wisconsin. Here's Rebecca Johnson in with a curl and drag move, and she couldn't quite 
get through to the net. And Annie Pankowski just played in the East Coast Hockey League All-Star game on Wednesday. She scored in that game and almost had one here tonight. Jocelyn Lamoureux with a nice move to get open. What a great move there. And another big save by Anne-Renée Debian. That's how she got 56 shutouts in 99 wins at U of Wisconsin. And that's how Lamoureux, just you can see the hands there. Here's Spooner with a shot, tried to go low stick side and just missed. Sarah Nurse with a shot that was blocked before it got through. Here's Amanda Kessel. She's one on two and we'll need some help. Carpenter comes up with her return pass for Kessel from Decker. And they'll play the puck on the outside. But the Americans have been using the strategy of the men in the NHL and that's keeping possession of the puck and not giving it away with chances. Look at Marie-Philippe Perrin, stopped by Cavallini. These two former teammates are great goaltenders. Here's Poulin again. Two chances and she missed the net on the second one. Centering pass is tipped out front. Fortino. Throw the puck in behind the net. Re relayed by Dau. Laura Fortino. Now it's the Canadians who don't want to give up the puck here. They finally get a chance on the inside and a faceoff with a save. Well, Steckline and Pankowski had chances at one end, and Mary Philippe Poulin had three chances here on this last shift. This one a breakaway, and she gets the puck up elevated enough, but Cavallini just makes a nice save, stays tall in her net, and then this one like a double chance. And look how deep Cavallini was, and that's why she was able to make that second save opportunity. This is Rebecca Johnston. Megan Augusta is with her. And Renata Fast, there's a bouncing puck off the boards. Hillary Knight! And DPN got a piece of that one, too. He sure did. That was a great shot by Knight. Shot show 9-7 USA, but it feels they've had better scoring chances than that because of that. And Anne Renee Depien makes another wonderful save, and the Canadians continue to lead this hockey game. Depien can play the puck really well, too. Here's Blair Turnbull in, slides the puck to the front of the net. Cavallini came over and made the save. Mark Johnson, who coaches the team at University of Wisconsin, said he was looking forward to seeing Anne Renee take the puck and ski it up the ice tonight, which she might do. You know, the guys in the NHL, they play, what, five minutes of this, and it's exhausting. And you can just see, it, as this period's starting to come to an end, just how physical this is and how tough this is. It's back and forth. And there's not many of them. No, exactly. This is tough sledding. Jocelyn Lamoureux, she's on her own. Poke tick there, Natalie Spooner takes the puck back. Laura Fortino from Hamilton races in over the blue line, will have a shot, takes it, and it's sort of an off-speed one that Cavallini bobbles and hangs on long enough for a face-off. You know, going back to Davian, and as she watches Cavallini make this last save on Fortino, and one thing, they practiced early this morning, of course, this building was busy all day, and Davian was working on putting the puck up, and she knew that was going to be key for her success tonight. Yeah, they had to have their morning skate. It really was a morning <laughs> skate. I was there. It was early. Right? That alarm came early. Here's a two-on-one. It's Kendall Coyne trying to pass the puck to the front of the net. Decker was there, but the pass didn't get by Fortino. Here's Coyne again with a backhander into the corner. Decker, centering pass that eluded Alex Carpenter. And goes all the way down the ice, and period number one is over, and it's a short breather. It's Cammy Granato on the left, and Jaina Hefford on your right, the two coaches, and they both have earpieces in so they can actually talk to me. And I gotta tell you guys, you guys tweeted today about a wager. So, Cammy, I'm gonna give the question to you what's the bet actually? What, what's going on here? Uh, we're having some beverages after the game, and uh, someone's buying, so we, we, we're, we're a little behind, so we got some catching up to do here. Okay, can I come? Sure. Okay, good. What, you know, what's it been like, Jaina, behind the bench and the excitement of this whole event leading up? I know you guys have both been here for a few days, um, but what's it like? What's yeah, it been like? It's, it's been really fun. I think all the women are having a great time here. Um, great crowd, really good energy in the building, and I think a good start here, but I, I imagine the next 10 minutes is going to be the best part. Now, is it like a
a bag skate, you guys? Because I know in the NHL they think it's like a bag skate, the, the five minutes of three on three. Cammy, what's it been like on your bench as far as fatigue? Uh, you know, it's there. The, the ice is pretty snowy, so it's a bit slow, but, uh, but they're getting the hang of it. I think we got better as the period went on. Who's up next? Hey, Jana, we're not supposed to admit this, but we kind of looked up to Cammy, and she's only three years older than me, but we both kind of looked up to her. What does it mean to be coaching at this with someone like Cammy Granado? I know she's American, but she's awesome. Yeah, I have so much respect for Cammy, and obviously we played together, or, sorry, played against each other for a while, but, um, you know, I'm just so happy to see her back uh, in the women's game and really contributing, and you can just feel her presence when she's around uh, the women, and we're so happy to have her here. I hate to admit it, we would slash her just the same, but I had so much respect for her. But thanks to both of you, and job well done. Cassie, the hardest I've ever been hit was when you hit me on the blue line. Sorry, I'm sorry. That's all right. All in good fun. Well, all three of you were a part of great history, and many of the women who are playing in this game today say that they were inspired by the 2002 Olympics, and Cammy was an all-star. Jaina scored the game-winning goal. You were involved in that. And that got many of these young women started in the game. Well, they're both Hockey Hall of Famers, and deservedly so. Cammy went in the first year with Angela James and passed two years ago. And you couldn't pick two female hockey players that are more respected by the female players than those two to be coaches, so well done. Meantime, this two-period straight time three-on-three -three game continues in the second period with Canada leading one to nothing on a goal by Rebecca Johnston from Sudbury out of Cornell University and the Canadians have spent a lot of time in their own zone and Rene Desbiens has been fantastic here's Natalie Spooner in the midst of a change drops the puck off and Cavallini who's been pretty good as well makes a nice save there you know, I expect this second half just to be a little bit better. You know, the nerves. Uh, this is a big moment for women's hockey, and these players recognize it, and I think they were a little nervous that first 10 minutes and getting their legs warmed up, and I expect this latter 10 part, 10 minutes to be a little bit better. As we get ready for this face-off, let's bring in Carolyn. Well, Cassie, you mentioned looking up to Cammy. You're not the only one. Casey Bellamy, Kendall Cohen, Schofield. She actually told me yesterday that she was six years old and she got to meet and hold Cammy's gold medal. She said it was at that point that she realized, wow, girls can play hockey. And as she said, it's just about visibility, and that's why they're out here today. USA back in the attacking zone. There's many. Philippe Poulin. Just think about her history and the big goals she scored. How many people have that on their resume? Game-winning goals at the Olympics. Melody Dao in with a shot. Great shot, and she scores. And Canada's taken a 2-0 lead. And that's just a simple pass up by Marie-Philippe Poulin and just a perfect finish by Dao and the chemistry that these two have. It's just unbelievable. And you can see Dao with her head up the whole way. She kind of looks to her left a little bit. It's a two-on-one, and then just decides to fire it over the right pad of Cavallini. Dao, Poulin, Augusta played together in the 2018 Olympics as a line. And here they're playing some three-on-three -three together. Banana fast. Slowed up through the puck in front of the net. Augusta is stopped by Cavallini. And the puck is thrown back the other direction by Pankowski, and Canada will recover and change here. Bass put the puck off the boards. Spooner plays it back. And the Canadians look a little more confident offensively in this second period. After Dejan held them in for a while in period number one. Pankowski clears the puck for the USA. There's the puck playing ability of Dejan. Blair Turnbull ripped a shot that was blocked by Lee Steckline. Lee Steckline practiced with the Minnesota Wild this year, and that's probably one of those teams that will have some interest in women's hockey. They do such an amazing job in Minnesota supporting the women's game at the college level in particular, but even the high school level, the buildings are filled. She and Bellamy are big defensemen. Bellamy's tough to play against. So is Declan, but Bellamy for sure. Here's Fortino with a shot. She missed on the short side. Sarah Nurse cross-ice pass was tipped before it got to Fortino. And that gives the USA a chance to break out. Here's Hillary Knight to the net. Scores! And with 
five and a half minutes to go at the usual Canada USA women's game. It's tight. Well, it's a tough change here as Nurse went off, and of course, being the far away from the bench, Mary Philippe Poulain comes on and she just tries to chase Hillary Knight, pressure her to make a play that she doesn't want to play, and she just stays cool under the pressure and puts that five hole on Davian. Now, Philippe Poulain steered wide by Casey Bellamy. Melody Daou spent five years at McGill University. Fortino, Poulain, Daou with a tip, Cavalier with the save, and she stopped the second one, too. How about the crowd, hey? When it gets to a scoring chance, it gets a little bit loud in here. It's, it's awesome. And for every goal that Team Canada scores, Scotiabank's going to donate $5,000 to Hockey Canada. That's a, an initiative that was announced. And I know the NHL yesterday and Adidas, or excuse me, Bauer gave money to a local girls community here in St. Louis. So a lot of good things happening for women's hockey. And there's $100,000 up for grabs in this game. $75,000 to the winner. And all of that money will be donated to improve young girls hockey with various different organizations in Canada and the United States. Here's Blair Turnbull in with his shot. A big save there by Cavalini to keep this at a one goal game with four minutes to go. Decker, Alex Carpenter, spent the last couple of years playing in the KHL China League. Here's a chance at a two on one. In too deep, Debian made the save. On Annie Pankowski, just stick handled her way out of a shot. Good patience there, though, by Alex Carpenter. She needed a change, and she circles back to allow her two teammates to change, and that allowed this two on one opportunity for the U.S. And Debian again, another nice save. Jocelyn Lamoureux with a shot into a crowd, and Debian was able to fight that off and make the save. Natalie Spooner with a great move to get open. She streaks to the net. Not sure what she was trying to do I there, but it was, was going to look pretty pretty, wasn't it? She was doing a lacrosse move there, for sure she was. The <laughs> Shvechnikov just not from behind the net. Long shot by Lamaru went just wide of the net. It looked like it was almost got back to Sarah Nurse for a shot too after <laughs> she failed to pick it up. She's going to hear about that one for sure. You, that's one of those things you got to put it in, right? If you're going to try that, it's got to go in. That's a guts for trying it. Yeah, Lamaru sure. moves in, cuts to the middle, and the puck was poked away. Casey Bellamy. Amanda Kessel in a battle to get open and slid the puck across. Bellamy will just play puck control around the outside. Time is of the essence for this USA team, down by a goal. Just over two minutes to go. And Debian has been excellent. Daou lost her stick. Lamaru Davidson able to hold the puck in. Americans are going to change and try to keep possession, but there's a giveaway by Bellamy, and she's quick to get back defensively. Canadians need a change, and Marie-Philippe Poulin will buy some time, and with a goaltender who plays the puck as well as Debian, they can play the puck back and get a full change. How about the battle between Kessel and Daou? You don't think this is serious. They were giving it to each other. Here's Rebecca Johnson. Great move. Cuts to the net. Poke check by Cavallini. And the clock gets down to a minute 45 with Canada leading by one. Without a fast, put the puck off the boards, but it didn't get outside the line. Carpenter centering pass, and DPM makes a wonderful save again on Alex Carpenter from up front. And Alex Carpenter known as a goal scorer and such a surprise she didn't make the last Olympic team. But here's Natalie Spooner on that breakaway. Look at her for sure. She's trying to do a lacrosse yeah. move just doesn't get it onto her stick. And this is where Alex Carpenter is at her best. And she just doesn't get the shot off that she wants on DBN and just look big there in net. Sarah Nurse was poke checked by Decker and falls down on the boards. Turnbull came back to get the puck. Going Schofield. Turns on the boards and has to put the puck around. It's on an American change. Pankowski comes off the bench. Last minute of the final period of this game between Canada and the U.S. Kendall Coyne, backhand shot. Debian calmly steered that aside. Pankowski. Steckline was jumping in off the blue line. Now has to get back defensively. Canada wants to just control this puck. Natalie Spooner, what will she try this time? With a one goal lead, she just rips the shot. And Alex Rigsby Cavallini made the save. 
This might be the last rush. Stick line leads it, goes wide, centering pass off the skate. They're just about to pull the goaltender, Cavallini, but now she's got to get back. Now she'll go. Puck was knocked out of the air. And the whistle went and offside. I guess the puck came outside the blue line when Annie Pankowski knocked it down. And this crowd's a rocket. I mean, the players didn't even hear it. So they're into it. And Cavallini with the heads up play. And for those watching at home, that's actually Alex Rigsby. She was married this past summer. And Blair Turnbull, a Canadian player, you can see the girls trying to get her attention. Is Cammy Granato is coaching for real. And Blair Turnbull was a. Uh, in her wedding party and as much as there's a rivalry a lot of these girls went to college together so they they know each other more than we did back in my day so drop of the puck rigsby cavallini heading to the bench lamaru davidson and she got another big goal in her there's a centering pass and fanning was amanda kessel off the heel of her stick lamaru kessel didn't miss that one she ripped the slap shot up in the air and debian made the save at the buzzer and canada defeats the united states 2-1 and i think this last shot by the u.s would have counted if davian didn't make the save it definitely would have been close and something they'd have to review they had the extra man on you can see they get the playoff no question about it this is a huge save by davian right at the buzzer you know what jim what a moment let me look at the faces of these players and they recognize the magnitude of what has happened here at the NHL All-Star Game for three years in a row they've included women's hockey and they recognize that this was more than just about them as players it was about the game as a whole and showing the NHL and showing people around that these women's hockey players are skilled and they deserve to be treated like professionals. That was a great show and there's the star of the game. And Renee Despien. I still can't believe her statistics at U of Wisconsin. 99 wins, 56 by shutout, and she just about got a shutout here tonight. Well, that program's produced so many great players. That obviously, their head coach, Mark Johnson, a former Team Canada player, and Jackie Friesen is there as well. And with seven of them here playing in this NHL All Star game, three on three elite women's tournament, they've produced some tremendous hockey players. A photo op and a big salute to the crowd. And they're on their feet, Jim. It's pretty cool. It's a big moment. It really is. That's an understatement. Cassie, all I can say after watching that is find these players a place to play. Yeah. Carolyn.